People tell us every week that our information has helped save their life. If you agree that this is helpful information, please like, share, and most of all, subscribe because nothing makes a channel like subscriptions. Autophagy and aging. This was in a scientific journal called Curious 2021. The authors were from Wales and they're talking about aging induced alterations in intracellular signal. Like I said before, people think that the obesity epidemic is driving the insulin resistance or diabetes epidemic. And no, that's not the case. It is a pretty close second. The impact of obesity on our health as a population is just devastating. But the number one cause is still aging. And that's what this article went into. It started talking about what does aging actually do? It reviewed over 90 articles. It talked about caloric restriction and intermittent fasting, talking about how that induces autophagy. In other words, as I said a couple of times during this show already, rapamycin, but think about it. It's a hassle. You got to find a doc that's comfortable writing it. There's a lot of hassles associated with rapamycin. And here's the thing. Caloric restriction, intermittent fasting, prolonged fasting, all of these things are absolutely free and they're far healthier. So these things promote reduction of the pro-inflammatory markers such as homocysteine, IL-6, interleukin-6, C-reactive protein, the other ones that we talked about a few minutes ago, microbiome creatinine ratio, MPO, myeloperoxidase. LPPLA2. So think about it. As I said before, rapamycin and resveratrol can induce autophagy as well, at least according to those authors, but it's just so much simpler, so easier, and so in line with health. Don't eat as much. There are ways to do that. So anyhow, metabolic syndrome and plaque. This was in Frontiers in Cell and Developmental Biology, 2021, authors from Japan. This was a review of over 160 articles. They talked about metabolic syndrome and plaque. So they're saying metabolic syndrome and plaque are caused by oxidative stress, inflammation, and insulin resistance. I would agree with that. Insulin resistance becomes the major first step for the vast majority of us. And as I said before, that is usually driven by aging, but it's also driven in a big way by body fat. We used to think that body fat was an inert energy storage tissue. It's not. It's become very clear over the past decade that body fat, it's a hormonal tissue and it drives insulin resistance. Hence the reason that obesity, overweight, and even moderate levels of weight can and are some of the major drivers, the number two driver of insulin resistance prediabetes, diabetes, and therefore cardiovascular disease, and a lot of cancers. So basal and mild adaptive autophagy protect against the progression of plaque, and they can actually help reverse that process. We're not talking about one article, we're talking about 160 articles going in to this pool of scientific evidence. Multiple drugs might help, but control of autophagy is the goal of success. And again, for some of us, it might take us a few hours to get access to that autophagy. Just get started with intermittent fasting and you'll see what I mean. So, like I said, we got a little bit technical, but we did cover a significant part of the scientific evidence behind control of plaque, even reversal of plaque with autophagy.